Oh, JD here, Tyrolness, and we are back on F1 2021 once again. And I think this is the fourth video that we have done now on this game, day two of the release. And as I said in my hot laps, every day you keep learning, you keep improving, and typically you can still find improvements after even six months into the game. So Whatever lap times you see will probably be obliterated um, in a few months' time. Or not, but usually that is the case. Now, when you first start, you feel like you, there's no way you can go faster than this, but you always unlock something in the setup, or most of it is just really in your driving style. And today, we are testing that to see how good it is, because we are going against the 110% AI, which I have been told... It's actually very, very challenging. And borderline OP, people have told me. So we're going to put it on Silverstone, not just because we got it this weekend in real F1, but also because it's probably one of my favorite tracks as well. And in the past, it's typically been quite underpowered around here. And people have said it's the opposite in this case. So let's see how we go. We're actually going to load in our Silverstone setup, which I am going to be releasing I believe tomorrow, which I got the world record on around Xbox, although it's probably been beaten now. So I think this will be quite a good test. We've got five lights here trying to get a good start here, and I've got a pretty decent launch, and let's just see how this goes. We're going to stay on board for the entire 25%, because I really just want to discuss as we almost lose the car there, so that's already a harsh reminder, or just a highlight of what this happening is because that's something we are going to be discussing here and I also really want to hear your thoughts on how you think the game feels quite a few people say that it feels like 2018 um, in a way and I see other people say that the only way to be fast is to slide around um, so yeah it's interesting what different perspectives people have now, obviously based on their driving style as we go out wide but we don't pick up a warning so that's kind of similar to the last game where if you go out by a millimeter it will give you a track invalidation but if you really take the mick and go fully out wide then it doesn't do anything so those kind of things are actually very useful especially when you do a league race um, because if you get yourself in that scenario you don't want to be picking up a three second time penalty but moving back to this the ai straight away it just feels very very they have a very unnaturally unnatural performance advantage in a straight line is what i was trying to say and they're just accelerating away even when i'm using the overtake they just have this extra gear where you just can't match at all and I think you are probably going to see it so I'm using it now and gaining on Verstappen um, a bit but it just seems the acceleration is just insane and they don't we'll see if they run out of ERS or not because typically on the, the previous games they use quite a lot of it at the start then they have a period where they don't use any as we actually do get our first track limit warning um, but typically they use it at the start and then they have very low power for a while and then they use it on the last two laps but one thing is just not the straight line speed but if you look at the delta above there you can see i think you will see how much hamilton pulls away it's like three temps just in that corner and we are using the setup i've got on here is what i use to get the world record on silverstone against quite a few good people who've already attempted it so i feel the setup is pretty good around this track um, and yeah, they uh, they have seemed to have an advantage in not just the straights, but also in the corners as well. Well, at least for Hamilton. And you could just see Verstappen coming off that corner. It's just outrageous, the acceleration. As Hamilton, I don't even know what lap time that was. I think it was like mid-26 or something like that. But yeah, so far, it's definitely harder uh, than the last game. That's one thing for sure. And definitely ran this track. This track on 2020 was was just very, very easy. Um, and I think Codemasters have heard that message loud and clear. 
because the AI, I think, oh, definitely on some tracks, they were just far, far too easy. And uh, this is 110, so maybe that extra 10, extra 10 percent, if I can speak, so we get another invalidation, is what is the unnatural performance gain. Because for me, I don't really like it when there's nothing you can do and you can't match the AI. They just they have this power that you can't replicate or anything at all with the setup or anything at all. Because I want it to be where they are just they're doing better lines, they're breaking, the the frog controls better, but it's nothing that you can't do, if that makes sense. That's the idea of the perfect AI to me. But of course, you know, in a perfect world, that would be great. But programming it for a game, especially a racing game, where there are so many variables, where you know, just pushing an AI offline, they have to recalculate everything for the rest of the race, pretty much. It's um, I can imagine it's probably not the easiest thing in the world but so far they are very very difficult to keep up with i'm trying very hard here you can see i'm actually outbreaking myself on a few occasions and we've still got about 72 percent of the ers i'm going to use it now i think the mercedes is still the fastest car in realistic settings i think the red bull was just slightly down on the straight line speed but I have seen a few other people's videos and they were really, really struggling uh, to even get close to this AI. Um, so it'll be interesting to try different tracks. Let me know which one you want to do. You want me to do next. I'm thinking maybe doing Singapore, because that's always a lot of fun to do, or maybe Monaco or something like that. If I am crazy enough to actually do that, but you can see Hamilton just with a high speed. It just there's three temps, four temps, pretty much just in that Maggots and Beckets. It's just, you, you just can't do that. Um, and I know this setup is fairly decent as well. It's not a bad setup by any stretch or means. That's capable of mid-24 around this track is not bad at all. Although saying that, we will probably be down. Maybe someone will do a 23, which at the moment feels absolutely insane if someone could do a a 23 round here i think a low 24 definitely but a 23 is just really 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 pushing it but you can see here the slipstream is i'd say fairly a little bit more powerful than last game and um, the drs i think is very very powerful and we're going to see that in action here so using the overtake the drs here when do i turn off the overtake button i'm keeping it on at the moment but you can see we are gaining quite a lot uh, on that straight line here as we get past Verstappen so AI was fighting it a little bit but then decided to think better of it so that is already a little bit of an improvement from last game last game if you force them to defend they would then just go five miles per hour on the apex and if you push them out wide they would pretty much do the same thing so that's quite good um, definitely you know, the speed is improved it seems to be their awareness has improved ever so slightly as well but now focusing on the speed we've got the clear air let's see if we can actually home in on my teammate Hamilton here so I'm going to try and drive as fast as I possibly can and let's see what we can do so I'm just going to keep an eye on that delta the entire time so it seems to be through the slow speed that I gain the time um, and you can see we're using a little bit of the boost here but then it's in the high speed and just on the acceleration and the straight line is just crazy so go through these sequence of corners I feel like I'm a little bit faster than AI and you can see the delta we are gaining a little bit here but it would just be on that acceleration the exit you can see on the apex we're getting in but on the exit you can just see that just the time we gained almost a full tenth again go use the overtake just to try and keep it within that two seconds going through here the gap is still pretty much exactly the same but it's really through Maggots and Beckett's where it's just outrageous uh, how fast this AI really and truly is going through the old turn one it's almost flat out I think you can do it flat out but it's just such a big you need balls of steel <laughs> to be doing that flat out every single time but it's going through here if you look at the delta it's just yeah, I can't match that um, at all. I could maybe match it if I had more downforce, but then 
If I had more downforce, then I'd be much slower in the straight line. So for me, that is a little bit uh, unfair. But again, maybe, I don't know if you agree, but maybe with the extra 10%, it being 110 AI, then that is what the 110 AI actually is. It's not achievable in some circumstances. So maybe that's fair game. But you can see he's starting to put away ever so slightly now. One lap seven of this race here. And we still got Verstappen right behind me. Perez and Ricardo is hanging on as well. So seems to be a big gap between, I think that is Stroll in P6 uh, and then Lando Norris in P7. Seems to be a big gap as we're looking at a tire wear. So typically the soft tires around Silverstone last quite a while. You really want to stay on them for as long as you possibly can. You can see that gap to Hamilton is still staying the same, so it's really sequence I can really kind of stay there. But once we get into that twisty section of Maggots and Beckett's, it's it's all game over. So the gap is about 2.4 now. Pretty confident they could probably take a flat through here. So he's already gained almost two tenths again of a stab and that straight line speed. That's what I'm talking about. That's something where you just can't do that. <laughs> He just really just can't. And you can see again, he's gained another three to four temps going through here. I'm going to let Verstappen go here because I believe I'm planning to pit at the end of this app. And I let him go just to see what he would do semi-defending. Because as I said before in the previous game, if they were taking that line set corner, they would really be going so in the apex. And nine times out of ten, you would just be crashing straight into the back of them. So nice to see that they are... A little bit more aware than they were in the previous game so the speed check yeah they are definitely much faster and awareness check yeah they are definitely more aware so already i'm pretty comfortable to say that they are an improvement on 2020 um which might push me into actually doing career mode <laughs> this game which i've always stayed away from career mode because i just never really enjoyed it i always enjoy racing against uh, real drivers um, actual online competition who can think <laughs> but with this ai with it being this difficult as well it might test me um tempt me even to actually maybe try it so let me know if you want me to do it i am planning um to do some social races soon i am making my discord a public um, because I have planned to create some social races that I want to do two times a week, which I may stream these social races. Um, so the idea is to get as many competitive people as possible all together and just have fun doing a 50% race, 25% race, whatever it is. So I may link that down in the description. If not, just keep an eye out for it um, because I will be linking that very soon. So yes. But moving back to this, we're just going to try and see if we can get any somewhat of an undercut. Not because my tyres are going off, but just to see um, if we can achieve anything at all. I feel like there's really uh, nothing to lose here as Ricardo isn't that far behind. No, he's sticking with me quite nicely. Kind of fluffed the uh, pit stop where I just kept on pressing the clutch in a little bit too much or trying to release it too early. Um, so it's pretty much exactly the same as last game as well. Coming across the line, we've got four laps to go here now. And the Stappen looks like he's got an absolutely insane undercut. And so has my teammate, Lewis Hamilton, which is... Yeah, there was nothing I could do there. So now I've just got to make sure I stay within the DRS zone of the Stappen and see what we can do. So we haven't got the DRS at the moment because he's just come out of the pits. Um, so there was no car to uh, get detection point off. So we've gone purple in this first sector after using all of this overtake. The gap is about 3.7 to Hamilton. So we'll keep an eye on that gap for the rest of the race as well. But now we really need to get within this DRS zone. I feel confident that my setup and the Mercedes is faster in a straight line than the Red Bull. So we should be able to stay with him through here uh, because the detection point is just coming up now so yeah we're comfortably within that um you can see again both of them are gaining quite a lot of time through this magazine beckett's but you can see the drs if you compare it to hamilton you can see how much time we are gaining we're gaining well over three temps going down that straight which 
says to me DRS is going to be very powerful um, because it definitely needs to be um, and Sipstream seems to be fairly effective as well so yeah, it's going to be interesting for races, league races and esports of what the actual approach is whether track position is key or not um, but as we actually set the fastest up of the race we've got three laps to go now and we're not exactly uh, on the back of the Sappen so we need to get a little bit closer then they're staying in second gear not engine braking this game I don't feel is uh, particularly effective it's pretty much the same as last game but overall I just feel the handling is the car is, is quite tough to drive um, and it's quite challenging I'd say in my opinion which is good um, it's quite unpredictable it's I think someone said that earlier um, when I saw someone write something about it's really easy to uh, get to the limit and to push but it's very easy to lose it as well so now once you lose the car it's pretty much almost impossible uh, to recover um, so that's why going through the old tail one if you want to go flat out then that is completely at your own risk because once you lose the car there really is nothing you can do um, so there's a lot of a risk reward factor and no I like this handling I think it definitely punishes you if you're not precise um, and if you're not smooth as well um, which really does tick the boxes for me in terms of my driving style because that's kind of what I rely on is being smooth and trying to be really ultra consistent in a race situation so you, know, you can see here now we're still just trying to hang on to Verstappen so we're still not as close as I really would like to be um, so we need to be a little bit closer uh, than this so trying to get a good exit up this corner trying to not use as much ERS as possible um, because we are running fairly low in order to try and keep up and the gap to Hamilton is staying uh, roughly the same I think he's edging away ever so slightly but we are starting to get a little bit closer to Verstappen we still got Ricardo right behind as well so he is pushing us quite hard here um, so I'm just trying to not use any of the overtake try and pick up somewhat of a slipstream normally when you're within about six tenths of the car that's when you start to pick up a little bit of a slipstream let's look, pay attention to the delta going up again and you, know, you can see Hamilton he's just yeah that's just outrageous how fast the, the, just the grip and the straight line speed is just what baffles me um, so no the no, I wouldn't say OP because I think if you could get behind, if I was behind Hamilton, then I think we could stay with him um, just about. I think it would be very hard to actually start pulling away though, um, at least around this track for me. It would be really, really tough um, to actually do that. So starting the penultimate lap of this race here, I was still about the same distance behind and still hovering around the 20% mark uh, with this battery. So. We're not going to really try and use any of this app. We're going to kind of try and save it for the last app. So use a little bit and then turn it off. Let's see how much we gain. So we're about six tenths behind. And at the end of the straight, we're going to be about... What, we gained about three and a bit temps. Over three temps in that straight line. Just that little straight there. Um, just shows that it definitely is uh, quite powerful on this game here. So we're just going to try and preserve our battery. Try and get him in the first... DRS zone on the last lap that's where you really want to be doing it because going through these sickness corners is quite hard um, to get a good run off this corner and around this track Magus and Beckett's is just very very hard to shoot the curb if you hit it wrong it can just completely end your race so it's going to be very interesting um, for competitive races around here on what is actually going to work but as we're semi defending from Ricardo. So we've got over 30% of the ERS, so that should be enough to launch somewhat of an attack. So just trying to get as close as I possibly can now. Coming off the exit here, just a little bit of a correction. But we're just going to try and just save the ERS. So a little bit closer than we were on last lap, so about a tenth closer. Which should give me enough margin to maybe go for an overtake here. As car signs has gone out of the race. So trying to get a good exit coming off this corner now. Let's see what we can do. So the gap is about five tenths again. 
now we're going to use all of the overtake here and are we going to go for move here are they going to defend no he doesn't defend does he try and stick around the outside yes he actually does so go around the outside he's still fighting on the inside as well and that has actually impressed me with this ai and that's something they probably wouldn't have done on the last game as ricardo is going for a move here let's see what happens here is he gonna go through yes he does and he makes it stick as well and we have lost our podium position and i have to say that's actually very impressive as well because on last game he probably would have slowed down spun off and you know, backed out of that or something at all but now they've actually going for a decent overtake we're using the rest of our overtake the yellow flag is out so ricardo isn't going to overtake the sapping try to think about got any inside but we are not going to be close enough and we have actually been nabbed on the last lap by this ai and we're not going to get a podium lewis hamilton just punishes us further by putting a faster lap at the end and i have to say i actually really enjoyed that that was a lot of hard work much harder than it was on previous games and no, I have to say, the AI are definitely faster and definitely smarter than they were on the previous game titles. So let me know what you think of this AI. Is it OP or would there any changes you would want to make as well? So I really hope you're enjoying the game. Thank you for your support on my videos and I will catch you very soon. Peace.